CDC report intended to caution all women about the dangers of drinking has caused somewhat of a controversy instead. It has. KTK's Kara Pritchard right now is live to tell us some of the advice in this recent Vital Signs report. Kara. Yeah, the recommendation is intended to prevent cases of fetal alcohol syndrome, but the presentation of the message has raised concern as some women consider it condescending. A new CDC report says, quote, more than 3 million U.S. women are at risk exposing their developing baby to alcohol because they are drinking, having sex, and not using birth control to prevent pregnancy. One thing as a doctor we always have to consider is that common sense isn't always common and that what may seem obvious when you're stepping back from a given issue isn't necessarily obvious when you're in the middle of a situation. The agency recommends young women of childbearing age to avoid alcohol altogether unless they're using contraception, which some East Texans think is a little extreme. But I think it's ridiculous for them to tell you that you should be on birth control if you're going to drink. That doesn't... That's not American, I don't think. Well, I think people should do what they want. And then people, everybody's body is different. So basically what works for one person might not work for the next person. I also don't think the government needs to be dictating to us how we live our lives. The CDC says about half of all pregnancies in the U.S. are unplanned. You may not know you're pregnant yet. It may be so early that you actually haven't missed a period yet. Okay. And you may still be drinking at a time when there's critical organ development going on. Dr. Newman says even if you believe that birth control is okay, it's not 100% protection. You know, people think, oh, I can just be casual, I can just go have a glass of wine or a beer. Is that probably fine? The problem is we don't know. We can't do the study ethically. He says there's no known safe level of alcohol use during pregnancy, but if a baby is exposed, it could cause fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. There are behavioral issues that can crop up later. There are cognitive or, in other words, how intelligent and levels of intelligence later in life, learning disabilities that are very real and ongoing. 